Hey, 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 everybody, Michelle is here. Ah, Michelle is here on this Monday, 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 September the 16th, 2024. I'm out and about riding, doing some things that I need to take care of. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. It says that my vehicle is 81 degrees, but it feels a little warmer than that. And I'm just looking at this particular area that I'm driving through and all this construction and you know the, the difference you know it looks a little different from when I was uh, riding through here before you know like um, ah, a little bit under a year ago so I'm just taking it all in and and uh, enjoying the moments but I wanted to come on through and say to uh, those of you that are some resonating Remember, you cannot fool your consciousness. And so you don't want to take shortcuts in life. Regardless, you know, I know it's, I know it's enticing. I know it's, um, you know, uh, a way that a lot of people attempt to, you know, reach their goals. And they do it by attempting to take shortcuts in life. And we all know what usually happens when we do that. You know, you have to put in the work. Unfortunately, a lot of people hate to hear that. But you do, you have to put in the work, you have to put in the performance, you have to put in the efforts, you have to, you know, you have to do those kind of things in order to evolve your consciousness and at the same time keep you out of this spin, 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 where you're not going nowhere, where you're just kind of, you know, wasting a lot of energy, to be honest with you. Anybody that's attempting to take shortcuts in life, all you're doing is wasting a lot of energy. So just... Keep in mind that you need to just take the steps. You need to go through the motions. You need to go through the valleys. You need to go through the hills and mountains and whatever that. <clears throat> you know, just rely a lot on metaphors <coughs> and um, parables and be, you know, and philosophies and this and that and the other. I mean, it really helps to uh, illustrate the importance of why you need to do certain things instead of being linear you know see if you can expand your consciousness expand your your thinking modes so that you can understand that you know like they say Rome wasn't built in a day or whatever that phrase is and it's true you really need to go through the go through the steps the necessary hard work whether you're trying to lose weight whether you're trying to eat better <coughs> Whether you try to do, uh, expand your knowledge base, you know, you cannot fool your consciousness. And if you attempt to do so, all you're doing is wasting time and causing yourself a lot of misery. A lot of things are happening as well, I notice, with a lot of, uh, uh, you know, what I consider cause and effect and how people are experiencing the boomerang. The boomerang, I told you that boomerang is coming back. And a lot of people are reaping what they've sown. They didn't believe their dangerous, violent rhetoric uh, would have consequences. And that, that comes from all sides. It's not just one side doing it. All sides of people are doing that. A lot of people just do not accept cause and effect. Reaping what you've sown and understanding the energy of the boomerang. The boomerang goes out and returns with ex uh, extensive force. You know, the pendulum, all of that. <coughs> I'm looking at these mountains, you know. Um, yeah, everything looks a little different. It looks a little bit more um, barren, you know, kind of desolate, kind of uh, flattening out. You know, it's not as mountainous as I can remember, but, you know, that could be, that could be anything. But they are working in these mountains. And when I say working in these mountains, they're taking resources, okay? So, just keep that in mind, you know, just keep that in mind. And those of you that travel a lot, you know, when you are flying, you're not going to see these effects. And when you're on the train, you may see some of it. But, you know, you only see it, see what I see through driving. And when you drive, then you, I mean, it ought to be clear and effective about what's going on. The flattening of this planet. You know, and we had this, you know, a lot of people arguing about this theory. <laughs> Is the earth flat? 
or is the earth round? And it's it's quite obvious what the the world <laughs> that the earth is round. But you know, continue that argument if you got time to waste. I I don't on that on that theory. It's been proven. But we are flattening out the earth, and that means something completely different. You know, flatten it out, taking the resources, and you know. And the mountains, remember the mountains are here to protect us from, you know, treacherous storms and flooding. So just keep that in mind as well. But anyway, do not attempt to skip in line, take shortcuts, find the easy way out. Because all you're doing is damaging and causing a delay in your evolution. You know, you're, you're driving your psyche insane. You know, you're causing uh, psyche damage, damage to your psyche and your consciousness by, you know, by attempting to fool it and by attempting to play games. And all you're doing is playing games with yourself. So I'm going to get my eyes on these on this road. I got a, um, I'm heading to a destination, you know, attempting to, uh, you know, enjoy the moments, see what's going on in the world. And I love it. I love driving. The reason I love to drive is because it helps me to think, you know. It really does. It helps me to expand my thinking because I can see the visuals a, li a little bit more up close and personal. You know, but if I were on a plane, you know, what can you see on, on a plane except uh, clouds? But I do plan to fly as well at some point, uh, you know. But driving is something I prefer to do if, I'm, if it's possible, that is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Again, don't don't seek shortcuts in life. Take it all the way through. Walk it all the way through. Follow your path. Follow your alignment. And enjoy the moments and enjoy each other. Universal love at the end of the day. Trust me, I'll be back. <laughs>